Hey folks, this is Mr. Con Gable here, and I want to walk you through the process of creating a program in Robot C that will allow your car that you've built to run for a set number of seconds. So the first thing we need to do is open up Robot C and make sure you're opening up the Robot C for VEX Robotics and not the graphical. We don't want the graphical. So you're going to open up Robot C. You can say new file. So then we have a new file up here. And once your document's set up, um, we need to go back in and set up the robot property. So we want to go up to click robot. We want to go to platform type. We want it in VEX 2.0 Cortex. So we'll click that. And then we also want it in natural language PLTW. Very important that we have it in these two settings. We have to have it in that. So once we have it in that, we should be good to go. Um, if you don't have it set up correctly, the computer won't be able to talk to our cortex. So we've got to have that, up set, that, that set up correctly. So now we need to set up our motors and sensors. So we're going to click on the motors and sensors setup. And right now we don't have anything set up. So the first thing we need to do is go over to our motors tab right here. And we're going to set this up as a left motor. We're going to type left motor. And then we're going to click the type. We're going to go a 393 motor. And then we're going to say right motor. Now if you look on here, what I've done was not capitalize the first word, but I've capitalized the second word and made it all one word, no space. It'd be a touch sensor. So once we have that set up, we're going to say apply. Then we're going to say OK. And if you look, all of the things we just set up are right up here. So in port one, we have a left motor. Port two, we have a right motor. And in digital one, that's DGTL one, not DGT11. Digital one, we have a bump switch. So now we're ready for our code. So what we can do here, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we see a task main, two parentheses, then we see a curly brace, and all of our code needs to be in the curly braces. So first thing we're going to do is say until bump, and then we have to say what, what are we going to push? We're going to push the bump switch. We always have to have a semicolon after that. So now we have a bump switch that we're going to press and then we're going to say start motor. And if you see this, it's kind of helping us. Anything that starts with start is saying you either want this one or this one. So you can just type start and then push enter and then it does it for you. We have to say our left motor. But we have to make sure we put in here a speed. And the speed range on this is 120 to 0. 120 being the, the highest. So we have to say what speed. Then we have our semicolon. We're on ready for the next one. And we have two motors on this. So we're going to say start motor right motor and we also want that at 120 and then we want this to run for five seconds so we're going to say wait and we want to wait for five seconds semicolon and then we're going to once it runs that five second time then we're going to have it stop the motors and which motors well obviously the left motor and then the right motor And that's the end of our program. Our program is all done. So what we can do now is we can compile it. 
and compiling it is basically telling the computer, hey, does this code work out for you? Is that going to work right? So we're going to compile it. It's going to do its thing. And what we need to do now, it wants us to save this to somewhere. So I'm going to say run, save. And so I have it saved as something. I'm going to So I've compiled it, and I have one yellow X, which that yellow X means it doesn't quite like that wording, but it's going to work anyway. If I have a red X, that's going to mean it's not going to work. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to need to download this to the robot. What we're going to need to do is to hook in our orange USB to our computer. So I'm going to hook this in here. So now I have my USB hooked in. I have my robot. I have my robot here. My Cortex is going on. I want to turn my robot on. There's a little switch right here you're going to turn your robot on and then we're going to download this to the robot now okay so it says check that your PC is connected I might get that so the first thing I need to do is to go up to robot say download firmware and then automatically update VEX Cortex And I want to say robot, download firmware, automatically update VEX Cortex, say OK, and then it will um, update our Cortex for us. So now that I have this downloaded, the firmware is downloaded, I'm going to download the robot. So now I'm good to go. So what I need to do now is say start, and if you see this green line, that means the program is going to run as soon as I go ahead and push the bump switch. So I'm going to push the bump switch and hold it up so it's not going to take off on me. I'm going to press it, and nothing happens. I'm going to press it again, there we go. Now it's working. And it went for five seconds, and it's done. Now, if I were to press that and it didn't work, what I want to look at is my ports. I need to make sure these are in the correct ports. I'm in digital one with my bump switch, and I'm in motors one and two. If those aren't right, that won't work. So check that first. If it still doesn't work and we're in the right ports, we might have to um, turn our machine off. So there's a certain way we do this. The way we do this is we turn it off. And then we unplug the battery. And then we unplug the cord. And so now we're going to try it without the USB connected. So we're going to plug the battery back in. We're going to turn it on, and then we're going to try it. So this probably means that I needed to get a new battery. So we'd want to unplug the battery and get a new battery. So we got a new battery. Are things on? I have to make sure that I push start on this. So I'm going to press start, and I got that green line, which means my program's going to run. 
What I'm going to do now is shut my machine off, unplug this, turn it back on, and see if it goes. It's not working, so something else is going to be um, worked out. So I've got it downloaded. I'm going to start it. And you see we got the green bar. Then I'm going to come over here, turn it off, unplug here. Then I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to press my button. And it actually is working. What happened there was I have one motor with the axle on the back side and one motor with the axle going forward. So in uh, operation, what happened was they turn in opposite directions trying to power the same axle going through. So I'm going to have to change one of these numbers to a negative. So I'm going to say stop. And then I'm going to go up in here, and I'm going to turn this to negative 120. I'm going to compile the program, and now i got to plug it back in. And then I'm going to download it to the robot. I'm going to start it, and I'm not going to unplug it yet because I really don't need to go anywhere. I just want to see if that fixed the problem. And it did. So we have a successful program that ran the wheels in the same direction for five seconds. So the next thing to do would be to test it, let it grunt, run on the ground and see if that would go forward or reverse. If it goes in reverse, the opposite of what I want to do, I would want to go in here, change this to a positive, and change this to a negative, if this makes it go in reverse. And what I can do is I can go up here, I can do the double slashes, and that, um, goes into green and it says it's just for our writing. So what I can do is I can say first try. And so this is the first try that we're going to use and then I know without changing anything this is the very first uh, go at it and we'll go from there. Alright folks that should get you started. Uh, if you have any other questions you can email me and you should all know my email.